Hello, Aces. Welcome back to module number three, lesson three, sourcing your signature recipe. In this lesson, what we're going to talk about is how do you source and develop your signature recipe? Just to clarify, what we're not doing is we're not building out a complete recipe altogether. That's like giving me giving you a fish, a finished product. But rather, what I want to share with you is how do you fish? We're sharing with you how do you come up with your signature dish because that is much more effective and that is much more of a longer term skill set which you can gain and should gain in order for you to build out new recipes all the time. Now let's dive right in. Four sources to uncover your secret recipe. The first one is through our cooking apprentices. These guys are basically just in fresh green cooks that is coming out of cook school, you want to be able to partner up with them or you want to hire them because these guys are great to bounce ideas off with. They have a lot of fire and desire to bring good stuff into the world and they want to let this creative juice flow. So when you bring the idea to them, oftentimes they have so much willingness to work with you. And of, of course, like because they're so green, they're not going to charge you an arm and a leg. They're usually very accommodating and they're in the trade. And that's the something that you sh you're basically buying is that you're buying the trade secrets. You're buying their connections, the people they know, they, the, 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 the different kind of concepts that they understand within the cooking of what works and what doesn't work, which flavor profile should work well together with each other or not. They've been through all the training and they can consult for you. If they don't know, then they can also tap into their mentors, their professors, and that's something that you want to be able to tap into as well. And that's the reason why you should always right off the bat to work with a cooking apprentice. Choose the ones that are more ambitious because the more ambitious they are, the more willingness and the more flexible they are to work with you. The second way to source your signature recipe is by other chef staffs. Simply put, Everyone have different recipes from menus that they have cooked from previously, and they can bring a lot of insight to you in terms of what you and what ideal and what vision you have to bring to, to the world. So they are also going to be able to bring their past experience into the conversation as well. And oftentimes this acts as a really great way to shortcut yourself to success. They can give you tremendous amount of insights on the menu that you're trying to create. And basically you're, you're just buying their expertise. They can also provide insight on where to source ingredients because once you're in the industry, you know exactly where to find the best beef, the best pork chop, the best filet. And usually if you're not in the trade, it's very difficult for you to come about these sources. Choose one that has worked at an ideal location that you want and that you look up to or perhaps even your competitors because they would be able to give you a lot more insight about how their competitors or your competitors are doing previously. The third source to source for your signature recipe is from your suppliers. Let's say if you have one supplier there that you're working with and you guys have developed a great relationship, you can also ask them how do they produce different types of menus or what goes well with the, the ingredient that you're buying from them. They also have a lot of different connections from the different synergetic partners within the trade. So for example, if I'm selling salmon, then I probably know a guy that within town that sells really great beef or really great vegetables or really great tomatoes. At the end of the day, because I'm in the trade, I would be exposed to this. And that's the reason why you should always ask your suppliers as well. You can uncover all the suppliers you need just by talking to one because one's going to refer to another one and another one will refer to another one. And that's how you uncover the secret behind this whole industry. Many suppliers also offer recipes to cook their products as well. So for example, with our ice cream mix, um, our supplier basically gave us the recipe. And on top of that, um, it just became a, a, a vertically integrated system. So all I have to do is just go to my supplier and they would provide everything for me. So that's usually how this industry works. The fourth way to find out and create your signature recipe is to find food consultants. 
they usually provide all their vendors equipment and recipes to you as well and they're very professional and it's someone that you can definitely count on if and when you do have that budget for them oftentimes i do not go with them because i feel like that i'm being squeezed by the throat every time i need to come up with an idea a new menu i would always need to go back to the food consultant because they basically control all the resources and suppliers for me and they do everything for me but if you do have the the, the cash flow the investment and if you don't mind that then yeah hire a food consultant that can help you develop the menu item of your vision keep asking i think this is like by far the most important thing when it comes to trying to figure out your signature recipe is that you just need to keep asking a lot of people and a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs they are not willing to ask because they do not want to have the fear of rejection. But it is this curiosity within this trade and this industry that really allows people to propel and thrive. So the more you ask, the more resources you'll get. And the more resources you get, the more busier and the more quality that you can create to your customers. They'll also and cover all suppliers within your niche. So at the end of the day, that's basically how I got into the ice cream industry without knowing a single thing about ice cream. It is simply just by asking, asking the right people. So the four sources is really the key in uncovering your signature recipe. Now it is your turn. Ideally your recipe and ask for help in the worksheet below. Make sure you download it, follow it, and actually go and complete to discover your signature recipe. In this lesson, we talked about how do you source and develop your signature recipe. Next lesson, what we're gonna be talking about is how do you create the 12 essential branding assets for your restaurant. I'll see you guys in the next video.